And well, joining us live is Eric Lindeberg, uh, who is uh, the policy manager for WWF uh, uh, and is joining us now live from Geneva. Thanks very much for talking to us this evening. Your thoughts uh, as we rolled out that story of six kilograms of plastic waste in a dead whale. These are, of course, just the, the, the story itself is so horrifying and this is not the end of it. We believe, I mean, reports suggest that 150 million tons of plastic is there in the world's oceans yes it's it's shocking and heartbreaking to uh, to read a report and and see the images of that whale that has been found and as you rightly point point out this is just a sign for a much bigger global problem uh, we see more and more whales uh, turtles other marine life fish being affected by plastic pollution uh, and it's it's reaching global crisis levels and we find it everywhere from the deepest trenches of the ocean to Arctic sea ice, you know, plastic is becoming, uh, is affecting all marine ecosystems. Uh, and, and yes, we're reaching crisis levels. Reaching crisis levels and there are attempts to save uh, the oceans, uh, Eric. And one of that, of course, is that floating pipe in the Pacific. Now, uh, how much will that help in saving our oceans and our water bodies? And what really can uh, people all around the world really do? I think the most important thing we can do is to stop polluting the oceans. Uh, it's important to clean up in places where concentrations are high and where there is uh, a peculiar risk for the ecosystem. But we're continuing to dump, sorry, we're continuing to dump uh, 8 million tons of plastics into the ocean every year. Uh, I'll just put on the light. <laughs> Sorry for that. We're continuing to dump 8 million tons of plastic into the ocean every year. And that's really where we need to tackle this problem at the source. Because once the plastic gets into the ocean, it stays there for a long time and it affects ecosystems, human health impacts, and it, it becomes a risk also for livelihoods and the economy. Right. And so, I mean, when you say it is not just a risk for marine life, but also for human beings, it turns up in our food every now and then as well. And does this, of course, will this take, uh, you know, people all over the world to say a complete no to plastic? Or are we so reliant on plastic now that that certainly is not something that can happen? I think our society is very much reliant on plastic, but we need to rethink how we treat plastic. We need a systematic change. And here I think it's, uh, we need important action from businesses and governments. Businesses need to take into account the impacts along the whole value chain of their products. The whole life cycle of their products has to be incorporated into the design uh, itself. Then we need governments to take much more bold action. Uh, we need to ban those products that we definitely don't need. And also, since this is a global problem, we also need governments to come together at the global level and agree on a new international treaty to tackle this problem as a global community as well. Right, Eric Lindeberg, WWF's global po uh, plastic policy manager, joining us from Geneva. Thanks very much indeed for sharing your thoughts this evening.